Scientists are monitoring a breeding colony of endangered Australian sea lions off South Australia to ensure their survival. They hope new survey techniques will provide accurate population data that will mean better management of the species. On a remote island off South Australia's west coast, breeding season is in full swing. Are oh, you a pup? Yeah, you're a pup. And that means census time. Uh, this is 18 months old, this one. Scientists from the South Australian Research and Development Institute and the SA Museum are on a mission to learn more about this little known colony of Australian sea lions. It was discovered less than a decade ago and Sadi says past visual counts have been unreliable because the rugged terrain offers too many hiding places. Are populations increasing? Are they decreasing? Are they stable? We just don't have that that, that much detailed information across the range of the species so it's very difficult to know to what extent we've got to tailor I guess management measures. This time they're using more sophisticated tagging techniques. <coughs> it may look rough but the pain is minimal and short-lived. Oh, yeah. It's like getting your ears pierced. The data will provide a baseline from which future changes in the colony can be assessed. It's estimated that the island's female sea lions will give birth to more than 100 pups this breeding season. That makes it one of the largest colonies in Australia and therefore one of the most important for the internationally endangered species. One of its biggest threats is getting caught in gill nets. This one's chewed on the, chewed on the net a bit. But Mr Goldsworthy says if 100-year predictions of sea level rises are accurate, climate change could become the biggest enemy. That'll be a serious issue for this island because half a metre extra of sea level out there will pretty much uh, inundate the entire area. The pups will be surveyed again in six weeks' time. Kim Robertson, ABC News, Adelaide.